So for today's setup guys, we're looking at setting up Zemu. So Zemu is probably the best original Xbox emulator around. I'm gonna go through which files you need, which game file extensions you need, and how to get the best visuals in your games. So pretty much everything is gonna be in this one setup guide, and it's a very easy emulator to configure too. So check this one out. Okay then, so first things first, if you like today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like it really helps my channel out a great deal, plus it gets you up to date retro emulation content as I upload it, which is pretty much daily. So we're looking at Zemu today, or Zemu, and this is for Windows PC. So the first thing we're going to be doing is going over to the official Zemu website. I'm going to refer to this as Zemu from now on. Now this is where we can download this. So the latest version of this, as we can see, as I'm recording this video, is October the 22nd, 2023. And this is version 0.7.116. But before we actually download this, what we're going to do is just head over to the compatibility section and from here we can see which games are playable. So in the green just here, 79% is playable. They might have slight glitches, a slight lag, but nothing significant. And we got 4% here, which is perfect, which is 100% perfect. No lag, no nothing, just perfect. Now if we look at the orange section and this section, and the red and the black section, pretty much forget it. But the developers behind Zenu are always improving this emulator of updates and the list of playable games and the perfect is rising. So if we just take a scroll through here, we can see what's what and most of the common games which you'll likely want to play are working fine. So if we click on this one here, for example, Brute Force, we can see this is playable and it was reported on May the 28th, 2022. So from back then, we can see this has been tested and it works fine. So once you understand which games are working, just take a look. We're gonna to go to the download section again and actually download this for Windows. Now it's available for Mac too, as we can see. I don't have a Mac. We're looking at Windows today. So we're gonna to go to downloads for Windows and just wait for that to download. And once you've grabbed your downloads, you're gonna get a folder, a zip folder. If we just double left click in there, we've literally got a couple of files, a exe and a license.txt. Let's just drag those out onto the desktop and delete that zip folder. We no longer need that one. And what I'm gonna do from here is create a new folder just to smart things up and create new folder. And I'm gonna call this folder Zemu. And if I just drop in, copy and paste license and the zemu.exe into that zemu folder. I'm also gonna drag in everything I've got here. So in fact, I've got the games folder. Now, let me just tell you that games work perfectly in ISO file extension, as we can see here. I've got a couple to test for this video. So that one's gonna be dropping inside. And we also got BIOS that we need. So if we take a look in here, now we got two BIOS files. Now, 100% complex underscore 4627.bin is the one you need. This one is the one people rave about and it works perfectly. So that's the BIOS files we need for this. So drag this inside of Zemu2. And we also need a boot ROM image. If I open this up, we've got the mcpx underscore 1.0 so we need this file too and again we're going to drag that inside of that zemu folder and finally we need a hdd image and this is the one you need xbox underscore hdd dot q cow 2 okay now we've got everything in place in one folder what we're going to do is open up zemu itself so double left Okay, so bear in mind, if this is your first time, you won't get that introduction, what I've just seen here, which is the Xbox introduction. You'll likely get errors that certain files aren't in place. I've already got these in place, but I'm gonna show you how to do this. So we're gonna go up to the machine, and from machine, we're gonna go to general, and from general, just go down to system. Now under system, this is where we can put our MCPX boot ROM into place, our flash ROM BIOS into place, 
and our hard disk into place. The EE prom isn't a problem, this is something that the emulator generates itself. So we're going to start off then by adding the MCPX boot ROM. So we're going to go to this section here and we're going to left click. And the boot ROM image is MCPX 1.0. Now just bear in mind that if we go to desktop, ZMU, if you did what I did and put all your folders into place, the image is requesting here is in boot ROM image and it's the MCPX image. Left click on that, open. And the next one we're going to want then is the flash ROM BIOS image. So just left click. And again, we're going to go and we're going to select the complex underscore 4627.bin. And finally, for the hard disk image, we're going to need that Xbox underscore HDD dot QCOW2 select. And it says application restart required to apply settings. So what we're going to do to this is just cross out of here machine. And this time we're going to go down. To and now we're going to open it. And if you put those files into correct places, you will then get a screen just like what I've had. So we're going to look at some video settings before we start anything. So machine, we're going to go to display. And what we need to do first is enable full screen. If we enable this, we got a full screen. And we also want to put full screen on startup. Now the window size currently is 640 by 480, which isn't too good. So we're going to just bump this up to 1920 by 1080, which is 1080p. And we also want to make sure vertical refresh sync is enabled. Like it says, this reduces screen tear. And if we scroll down a little bit further, we've also got a UI scale. We can put this to two times, which just means things are a little bit bigger, but I think that's a little bit too big. So let's actually change that one back to one times. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is look at the aspect ratio. So some Xbox games were designed for four by three, a lot of them were, and just a few were designed for 16 by nine. What I'm gonna do for the game I'm actually testing is just put this one on the 16 by nine. Display mode, I recommend putting this one onto scale. And if we go up to the top, we got internal resolution scale. Now this can make our games look really, really awesome, but just be mindful that if you really increase this, then you're more likely gonna find some lag occurring. So be modest with this. I'm gonna put this to two times. So I've just plugged in my Google Stadia controller. And if we go to the machine at the top input, we can see here, this is automatically detected and Zemu automatically configures our controllers, which it really does a good job of. So here we go, Google Stadia controller, and we're gonna close that there. So let's look at booting the game. So like I say, games need to be an ISO file extension. If we go to machine, load disk, and then I'm simply gonna find my game, which is on my desktop, Zemu folder, games, and here we go, I'm gonna go for a Capcom. So double left click, and then to actually start the game, we're gonna to go to machine, reset. This is, this is the first dream event of the, the, the Millionaire Fighting 2001 is about to begin. Hardcore This tournament is held under the free ratio.
there we go. To close out of the game, we need to go to eject, which you can find at the top, machine and eject. If you don't do this, then every time you boot up the emulator, that last game you played is going to boot up. So that's it for today's CMU emulator setup guide for a Windows PC. So like I said at the start of the video, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like. And regarding the emulator itself, just remember to play about with the video settings and at some point each specific game will get that sweet spot. So check me out on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. But until next time, stay retro.